Everybody's hosting Elsa's channel. Little hosty host there, Elsa. Whoa! Holy crap! Welcome, guys, gals, and ghouls. Yes, this is. Uh, we're on the countdown to finally, finally getting to Halloween uh, this Monday. That's right. There's not many days left for the living. <laughs> How are you guys? Welcome to another art stream. Uh, if you've never been to one of these before, uh, this is where I will draw something for you uh, live from start to finish uh, in, a, in a short amount of time. And uh, one lucky viewer is going to walk away with the drawing. 100%. <laughs> Much love, guys. Um, we're going to do one today uh, to give away, and I'm going to do one that will also be to, to support the stream um, we usually will sell it on our, our, our Discord page. If you want access to our Discord, it's free. Basically, jump right in, join us on Discord. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun today. Um, we're going to do two, uh, two drawings, like I said. Um, uh, and I just want to also give a, a, a big a shout out to Slider. Much love for the uh, sub right off the bat. Much love. Thank you so much. Um, you know those lemons are coming right back at you. You know that. <laughs> much love. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I'm uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for Halloween. I'm excited for. Um, actually, I just I just I just popped in a. I'm making chipotle, so I've got in this. I've got some meat in a slow cooker. Um, it's been. Uh, it's 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 at the point where I can. Um, <laughs> at the end of the stream, I'll be able to crack into that, which will be uh, amazing. I'm very, very excited. I get excited about the smallest things like eating. Uh, eating is important. Uh, speaking of being able to eat, I want to give a shout out to my patrons. They're listed here at the top here. These these are the fine folks that have been uh, supporting the stream and, and keeping me going and keeping me doing this. I'm able to send stuff out for free. I pay for packaging, shipping, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and then also to those that are actually purchasing the art, I really appreciate you as well. Um, commissions are always open. I've got a busy schedule this November. I've got that pr practical utopias uh, thing that I'm working on. I can't wait to show you some of the stuff uh, once it's done. And uh, a lot of that will be shown on the Patreon first, and then I'll show it to the public. Awesome. Woo. All right. Let's throw on some music. Uh, some themed music for the spooky drawings that we're about to do. <laughs> Much love. All right, so um, let's see, what am I going to do here? That's perfect. Awesome. All right. Um, what we're going to do also, oh, give me one second. I just got to make sure that uh, Twitch is up because I got to keep records of that. Uh, and then we're going to crack into it. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So, um, I now my alerts are not working necessarily for some of the stuff on Twitch. So you guys better keep me on my toes, um, <laughs> so to speak, right? I'm just gonna make sure that I've got it open so I can keep track of it as well. <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right. Oh, that hurts. Okay, <laughs> let's let's get into it. It's like, oh, come on, we, we're here to see it draw something, some doodles. All right. So, what we've been doing here for the um, Universal Monsters is we've been using black paper. Um, it's kind of the, this black paper here. This is this is base. Basically, we've been kind of working it back and and uh, going opposite from light. You know, putting the lights on instead of the darks. Um, it's been a lot of fun been uh, interesting to do and uh we're gonna continue with that theme with both drawings here uh so i that's why i do have my white pencil crayon as well uh eric walker thank you for the comment drops much love dude how are you how are you i hope you're, you're having are you excited for halloween uh i saw that you uh you posted some pictures of your pumpkin carvings that's really cool awesome okay so let's let's crack into it so two monsters today um, oh, the other thing too is the paper. Um, I've, I, I was using 65 pound paper before. Um, I've now doubled it. So this is much thicker paper. It's harder to bend. 
Uh, the reason being is that I noticed when I was doing it live on stream, the paper was bending a bit. It was curling. So I'm I'm thinking that this will be a much thicker thicker body for us to to, uh, to draw on. So hopefully that works and it won't curve anymore. Um, I noticed that during the stream. All right, let's get cracking. So we are going to be using the Pascada um, art markers again, and uh, I'm going to be doing some mixed media with pencil crayon and maybe some alcohol markers as well. Uh, it's going to be spectacular. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. All right, we're gonna make sure I'm drawing on stream. Right on, right on. All right, you ready? Here we go. There is a time change next weekend. Hey, hello, James Thurlickson, welcome. We've been doing uh, monster drawings all, all for this entire month. <laughs> so we're gonna crack at it today. Now we've done Frankenstein. We've done Dracula. We've done the Wolfman. We've done the Mummy. We've done the creature from the Black Lagoon. What are today's drawings going Elsa, to be? Elsa, I hope you like ice cream. Oh, you got Eric one. Muckhart, thank you for the, an uncommon drop this Elsa, time. You creamed I hope me. You like thank ice you cream, so much. Because you got one. I appreciate that. <laughs> ice cream. Host. Elsa, I hope you like ice cream because you got one. So I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of laying out kind of the where the layout is going to be. I want kind of a, something here. Hmm. All right. Everybody got their costume ready for Halloween. <laughs> uh, Eric, I appreciate you spreading the love. Thank you so much. It, 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 it doesn't matter the amount, it, but thank thank you. Honestly, thank, thank you for the donations. It, it definitely helps. I'm appreciative of even one lemon. Thank you so much. All, all I can smell is in my place is a freshly baked banana bread. Oh, your mom made banana bread. Ooh. Now the question is, for your banana bread, with walnuts or without walnuts? I've heard that debate. chocolate chips. I've just realized you guys can't see the whole picture. <laughs> let, me, let me zoom out a bit. They added a mo mobility thing to Starlink. Um, that the internet will go with you now when you travel, which is really cool, cool thing. And no matter where you are, that you'll have internet access. 
mobilization of Starlink. I, I'm still of the belief that internet should be made free for everyone. I think everyone should everyone should have access to uh, to the internet. I think that's a I think as as humans we have a right to be able to uh, have have access be provided for every single person out there. So sketching this out, we've got, let's see, like that, like that, uh, do you want to hazard a guess of what I'm drawing or who I'm drawing? It's pretty famous. I would argue that this particular drawing that I'm doing uh, involves one of the most famous pictures in Hollywood. <laughs> That's a hint. Anybody out there hazard a guess? There are no wrong answers. Uh, yes, there. These are these are definitely the Universal Monster movies, considered classics. guess, Elizabeth. Very good guess, but it's not. It's not Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde, but that was a very good guess. Okay. Like always, we're going to start with the eyes. It's just kind of mapping out where everything is. Julianne got it. Yes, that's right. It is Phantom of the Opera. So this is the mask it's holding, and this is the creepy face under the mask. <laughs> hey, Julia, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Excited for Halloween? Okay. Pretty much sketched everything out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay in some where our light sources are. Kind of kind of drawn what we want on the page in terms of uh, just making sure everything's good. Here, there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, what are we doing? We are... That's all set. Okay, let's grab our... our white here. We've got actually a bigger, bigger white than this one. We might start with a big one today and then work our way. Oh, that's a page. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have uh, a fun Halloween. Um, I do plan on streaming on, on the Monday, which is the Halloween. I don't know what yet, uh, but you know, it'll be in the spirit of Halloween. Oh, they, they closed it for health reasons. That's, that's, uh, that's proactive of them. That's good. Or reactive, I should say. So this, I'm going to start kind of just um, 
this is where our light source is going to be. And so I'm just kind of figuring out how we're doing it. So I'm going to find the domes over that way. I am using an old, old black and white photograph from the film, so it does not it does not have a lot of detail in it. Um, it's an old movie. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to try to kind of come up with. But again, this is we we generally generally always do kind of an impression, right? Makes sense. This is not gonna be a photorealistic drawing, but want it to look good, right? It's going to be a... So, it's kind of marking where I want stuff. Let's see. I use my finger with a little bit of finger paint. Why not, right? Finger painting's fun. Moving some of this paint around. Woo. All right, we got some, some paint on the face. We're gonna also gonna start with the eyes. Like I said, a lot of times it's easier to see stuff. I'm just wanting to get that little light beam. Uh, well, there's been several films. There's definitely se several several films. Do you want to um, look at the look it up on the internet and see what the, the wiki tells you? I don't know the precise year. Some spooky eyes. Woo! It was a silent movie, wasn't it? going to catch a lot of light. Before there was a film, there was a play for sure. Um, and I believe it still is on Broadway to this day. So this is, this is 
worry lines. We gotta figure out what. He's definitely got a lot of worry. It's a very worried face. Like he's just been exposed. Try to think of things in shapes. And then, of course, we'll put in the detail. We need to get the, uh, the idea of what, what it is first. Let's see, some eyes. The eyes, he's got really big bags under his eyes. Big, dark, dark bags. What's, what's his hair? Let's see. Okay, the mask. The mask will be up front. Typically it's a white mask. Hey! Oh lady, uh, oh gee lady ghost. How you doing? Welcome. Okay, so there's definitely going to be some light sources here. It's laying in some foundation here. Creepy, creepy, creepy drawings. All this month has been, uh, I guess, our little homage and portraits to the Universal Monsters. You can hear the organ? You can already hear the organ? <laughs> I mean, truth be told, the Phantom was an incredible singer. And was uh, had pretty good skills on the on the organ too, huh? All right. Mouth, mouth. All right. How are we doing the mouth? Let's see. The screaming. It's been very interesting um, drawing in reverse because <laughs> normally you're doing it the opposite way, right? It's been a really interesting exercise, I'll tell you. I gotta think about everything backwards. Um, I highly recommend giving it a shot yourself if you want to try. Uh, all you do need is a is a black paper and white pencil crown or white white pen or some white paint. Try and give give it a shot yourself. All right, we got some teeth here. Lovely tea. It's a tooth. Now he, he definitely doesn't have straight, like he's got pretty uneven teeth. Hey, welcome back, Death Thinker. Much love. Um, yeah, we're doing some. Uh... <laughs> All right, we got that. Yeah, doing makeup live, you know, anything can happen. Yeah, black canvas would work too. You could do that. Eric's gonna be a cow for Halloween? 
thought you would have been a duck. <laughs> Are you gonna be a holy cow? Get it? <laughs> okay, that's pretty that's pretty creepy, right? That's a ah that's a creepy face. Kind of almost see it forming. Kind of just artificially put it together. Um, in terms of the background, hmm, question: How do we sculpt the background? Right. Oh, your friend Matthew is going to be a cow. Okay. Are you going to be the farmer? Are you guys doing like a, a co-op costume? Uh... <laughs> really, it could be anything you want for Halloween. Got a collar here to be white. Gonna be a, a zombie pirate. An eye patch. Loose, right? We want to be loose. We want to be very loose with our with our, our drawings. Just want to want to simulate that it's there. Okay, so what we've got right now is we've got um, the mask as well. But we've got to we've got to figure out. the eye hole. It's an eye hole. The mask. Okay. Woo! Let's scrape this off. <laughs> okay, so what we've got is pretty much a rough Mask should definitely be white. Uh, but I, yeah, I will. I will probably show up in costume on Monday. We don't know what we're gonna do. It'll be fun. Um, but I'm not giving any hints. <laughs> That's a very creepy face. Um, okay, so the, for the mask, again, I should put, put white. I wonder if we can take a thicker one and just lay on some. Uh, 
thick pink here. Yeah, she's just gotta be cool about it, Elizabeth. You can't put people on your stream uh, without their consent, right? <laughs> Okay, so far so good. The paper's holding up; it's not curving. So I think by doubling the, the thickness of the paper, it's it's a it's been a good move. And it only took me four weeks to figure that out. <laughs> All right, if they're so good, this is where the the nose is going to be. Follower hey. on Elsa's channel. Ramsiaris! Welcome to the stream and thank you for that follow. Much love. Thank you for becoming an adventurer. We call them adventurers here because you just made you just chose to go on a journey and take that next step in that adventure. Welcome to the party. Um, your fellow adventurers and legends are here. Right. So far, so good. By all means, come into the chat, say hi. I'd love to get to know you. All right. So far, so good. Laid some uh, some color onto the mask, or some whites onto the mask, at least. Highlighting. And that's gonna be in shadow. So far, so good. We're just we're slowly building it up, right? We'll go into some detail. Also, once we put the background in, we need a tongue, don't we? We'll go back into it with some darks, you know that. I mean, we try to make good time. So. I mean, the gist of it is there. We just need to uh, then refine it. Heard some people tell me it's like, oh, sometimes you know, just the sketch is uh, is enough. But these aren't all technically sketches. I would not call any of these a, a finished piece. Um, a finished piece usually takes a lot longer to do. But it is a it is a it, it's just enough, I think. Unfortunately, you waited too long, Elizabeth. The Visible Man from last week's stream has sold. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, it is sold out. <laughs> but I'd be always willing to to do you. Uh, something very similar to it or something a lot like it 
or with your ideas of uh, a twist or whatnot, I can, um, you know, I still, I can do a commission for the exact same price that it sold for. Uh, so it would be about the exact same time amount spent on the drawing. Um, and I can do, um, do something very, very similar. It won't be 100% like it. It might even be better because <laughs> it's the second time I'm doing it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and so that's always, that's always, that's always an option. Uh, you do have, um, artwork heading your way though. I uh, have mailed them out and they should be heading your way. So keep an eye out on your, on your mail, uh, for either the end of this week or early next week. It should be arriving. Uh, Elizabeth, you're not that far away, so you should probably get yours first. Okay, we've, <laughs> we've built that up a, a fair bit. I wonder what um, what we can do. For, well, you know what? I might do some pencil crown for the background. Because last week on The Invisible Man, that's kind of what we did. We put a pencil crown in the background. That came out really nice. Um, I do want to keep it consistent with what we've been doing through all the other uh, other episodes. But again, we're just building it up. I, unfortunately, the the picture really is not clear what's happening with the ear. Um, it's pretty fuzzy. It's a very fuzzy picture. Assuming the ear is back there somewhere. But. Okay. All right. So my finger is full of white. <laughs> Gonna have a little sip of something. Hydrate. Good, good, good. Again, I want to be, I want this all on stream, so. Okay. Now, in terms of the background, I wonder if I should, should we put in a color for the background? What color do you guys think would be good for the background? For the Phantom of the Opera? Is there any particular... I don't really associate any color with it. Um, I wonder, if maybe we should do some like blues and purples. We do want to make this kind of creepy and I don't normally do the background first, but I think, yeah, I gotta be careful because I don't want to smudge the background color all over the place. So I've got some uh, pa uh, chalk pastels, not oil pastels, chalk pastels. Just trying to think of what what would I want for background. What I'm you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a white. I'm gonna go white with the background a bit. And just see. I can highlight something very lightly. What if we go like old theater like just blend it blend it with the finger my white my fingers are already white right so because think we got to think theater right it's uh, the phantom of the opera was in the theater so why don't we give it that that, that kind of theater or old cinematic uh glow do the backgrounds first but in this case because we want to define the shape of the head I think uh, it'd be kind of a neat thing to do Woo. all right kind of a almost smoky background right cool okay so Got that all shaped up. Uh, what else should we do? We should 
probably. I was playing in Vancouver. Yeah, that makes sense. back and forth a little bit of um linear elements uh what we call linear a linear element is our lines right a line line drawings um, when you have a line going through a drawing it's uh, it's considered linear Sharpen the black pencil and snap that on. Let's not break it, shall we? Try not to break our pencil crown this time. I need to get one of those electric ones, right? Ooh, that's a nice name. All right. What we're doing now is we're going to be defining the shapes a bit more, a little bit more detail. So again, this baggy eye. Tier on the Patreon that if you'd like a copy of each one of the drawings we do on the channel, there is a tier for that. You get a high resolution digital copy. Uh, we also do, I do also add some free, uh, some free artwork to, to the Patreon channel every so often as well. Uh, there's, there's some, some of the posts that are free for the public as well. It's not just all paid stuff. We do, we do, I do offer uh, some extra stuff. go. All right. I appreciate you guys so much for being here, hanging out with me. I know many of you like to draw, and uh, I always love seeing your artwork posted on the Discord. can't tell like on the actual picture if he's bald is the, is the phantom of the opera bald or is he bald he's balding <laughs> what's creepier are, are bald people creepy
nostrils. We need nostrils. The nostrils are uneven, because that's creepier. <laughs> been many many interpretations of it right shadow underneath the nose have a shadow coming from the mask as well. Basically, the uh, eyes, everything seems to be kind of in the right spot. But we we got to throw some colors into this, guys, right? We can't just have it black and white. We haven't done black and white yet. Um, we've come close to it with the last drawing. The, the Invisible Man was almost black and white, but kind of technicolored it. it kind of, uh, it's kind of a neat... Thing. Now, I am drawing from a um, black and white photograph. Obviously, the film was done in black and white. But we want to we wanna imagine some color into it. Um, am I getting reflection? Do I need to be in the more in the middle? I might have to be more in the middle, guys. I'm noticing some reflection happening here when I'm over on that because of the light. I'm going to move it over here for you guys. So, colors. Colors, colors, colors. We want to add some color. Um, and we're going to use the Pascadas, right? We're going to use the Pascadas to throw in some, some, some color. So I got to figure out what kind of color I want for this drawing. What's ghoulish? Ghoulish is like greens, right? Greens and purples. We got to think Halloween like colors, maybe some blues. Um, So we're gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a, a beige. I'm gonna take a green. Maybe, maybe also a dark green. We'll throw in some, uh, some blues as well. Um, we could always put in some dark blues. What did you find? Halloween. Oh, look at that. There's a shiny, shiny check mark. Shiny check mark next to Jillowayne's name, guys. That means he's a uh, verified partner on a plot alternative streaming platform called DLive. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Big round of applause to you. <laughs> All right. So, you know what? We'll, we'll, just for just for the heck of it, we'll also grab a little bit of a, a, a yellow as well. So these, these are the colors we're going to use. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of turnarounds really quickly, uh, Julie. The, the normal waiting period, um, uh, basically because they're just under a lot of pressure because they want as much of the gambling streams on there as possible. Because uh, they're all defecting from places like Twitch. Uh, because they're not allowed to do that content in there.
Oh, you applied at the right time. <laughs> Good on you. All right. So I'm going to add some, some green to this. Why not? Very ghoulish. We're talking about the original pic uh, motion picture. The original motion picture, he had quite a monstrous face. I'm just adding some green light for the mood. So the original picture, this is what, he was kind of like a ghoul. Yeah, in the book he was burned. And that's usually what the play was, uh, was about, right? But I'm trying to do it from the uh, universal pictures. So it was a bit different. Creepy monster. They did, it did change, didn't it? It did change. The, the, the movie and the, uh, the book and the play don't exactly... Oh, there was a, there, you saw a series? that up. Come out. Hey, 
white line. Hello and welcome to the stream. Hello. How are you, my friend? Doing another, another, I guess, Universal Monster. From Universal Pictures. <laughs> Everybody's hosting Elsa's oh channel. Gosh. Thank you the for the host, host. host there, Elsa. I do appreciate it. wild experience doing the uh doing these type of drawings for sure and uh <laughs> you know, every time you draw you tend to learn a little bit you know what works what doesn't and that's why it's always kind of good to keep drawing out of your your safety zone using materials I don't normally use. So I'm kind of learning how they work. All right. I'm liking how that's kind of turning out. Now I've got Everybody's hosting Whoa. Elsa's Another channel. Host Jeez, Holy cow. Little hosty host there, Elsa. Thank you for that hosty host. If you guys aren't already, I mean, most of you know each other, but if you guys aren't already, please follow each other in chat. Happy Halloween to you, Sookie. I don't know if you're, uh, are you, are you dressing up at all this year? Are you? Okay. So we're kind of, we're kind of drawing with paint. That's kind of what we're doing. We're, you know, using my finger to kind of spread things around. We're just having we're just having a little bit of, bit of fun with it. Not sure yet. No worries. Uh, I'm going to do something. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll probably show up on, on stream as something. We'll see. <laughs> no hints or spoilers. All right. 
I look rather, rather monster-like. Yeah, is it, it? They made him out like a ghoul. Um, most of the, I mean, I think the story evolved since then. Like they made him um, a, a burn victim, right? Creepy dude, though. We're getting closer to that, uh, that um, optic fiber, right, Sick? <laughs> We, we got we got to do some sort of stream together at some point. It'd be fun. Do like a painting miniature stream or or some sort of painting some vinyl stuff. Or I'm willing to go completely out of my comfort zone. Whatever you'd like to do. like he's saying surprise Such a worried look on his face. I've been exposed. <laughs> it's arguably one of like the most famous shots in Hollywood. I think the, the face reveal. You've been coloring in a horror coloring book. Nice, nice. Love to see um see the results when you're done or have you been doing it on stream I don't I'm not sure I hope you like ice cream because you got one. Hey! Elsa, Sigma. I hope you like ice cream because you got one. Some for the ice creams? Holy cow! Elsa, I hope you like ice How cream because you, you got you're one. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Phantom of the Opera is what we're uh, currently, currently doing. And we're going to give this away. You should know uh, the drawings have been sent off, so keep an eye out in your mail for, uh, for the drawings because they have been sent. So uh, typically, probably take about a week to get to you. Woo! 
All right. Very worried. Uh... <laughs> so this, 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 um, the eyeballs. Let's see so what we can do with the eyeballs here. Um, one thing I liked about the mummy journal was that we, we really made the, the eyeballs kind of uh, yellow and, and, and a bit of red as well. I wonder if I can take some pencil crowns and add... Because we're, we're using a black and white photo as our reference, so I'm wondering if we can... Oh, no problem. No worries. Thank you so much, Suki. Thank you for, for dropping in. And if I don't uh, talk to you before then, happy Halloween to you. Bloodfest. Ooh, that sounds very uh, vampiritic. Elsa, Vampire, someone Vampire just subscribed to your channel. How are you going to react? How? Oh my gosh, Suki! Suki became a legend! Holy cow! Let me uh let me add you to the wheel. Let me um quickly do that. I gotta add slider as well, guys. Hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Subs could have couldn't been a better time, guys. My my lemons have draw, dried up. <laughs> they they're pretty much uh, the, the balance has gone uh, to the point where I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> I might. Uh, I gotta, I gotta still do tidy labs, right? But it's um, starting start to wear thin. So I appreciate, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Ooh, I kind of like this, this uh, adding some, um, some pinks to this too. doing time wise too I need to, need to check that uh, we're good we are doing a great time great time Much love for the uncommon drop. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we've. Uh, I don't know if you've seen any of the uh, the previous ones, but we've been doing on Universal Monsters all month. This is our fourth week of doing it. I tend to, I've been doing these as kind of a mixed media. And uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of starting to, oh, oh. see his face is starting to look very creepy. Yeah, all in the spirit of Halloween for sure.
add. Elsa, I hope you like ice cream, because you got one. Aw, thank you for the uncommon drops, too. Appreciate that. Like I said, couldn't come at a better time. I'm running low. <laughs> thank you. I like, the, I, like the, I like the mixture of colors. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit more of a highlight. Um, I might do that on the mask too. Let's see, let me do that. Let's see, let's see, we can... Um, Again, the mask has got to read as white, though. Um, what we could do, I mean, humor me. Let's 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 go a little bit wild, shall we? It's like elf. You always been drawing. Me. I know. I'm gonna grab a pink. I'm gonna grab a pink. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put some pink light. I'm gonna imagine there's some pink light hitting him from this side. And actually, it might bring it back to being a little bit like flesh, flesh color. But we'll see. Let's, let's, let's play with this a bit. Elsa, I hope you like ice cream, because you got one. Aw, another uncommon drop. Thank you. Uh, I hope you like ice cream because you ah, got one. <laughs> another one. My good, you're making me feel like a cam girl. Holy crap. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is this is kind of wild. We're we're adding a little bit of a, a little bit of a pink. I can't believe we're only, is it five days? Six days? From Halloween? It's right around the corner. Okay, it's kind of kind of neat. We've got this kind of almost like pink light now. That's that's on him. It's like we it's like we meant to do it. It was on purpose. <laughs> it's a bright color. Now, it's kind of weird with mixed with the green. It's kind of kind of a neat, neat look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back into this because I need to definitely define those, those darks. I wanted to put a little bit of a, a pink on that. Something here. So I gotta, I gotta show the light, the lighter parts. Are gonna be more pink. That's how that's how light works, right? Okay, cool. There. So, it, it is incredibly strange to try to put color on a black and white photo. <laughs> and imagine the light hitting. So the light will generally sculpt. Not bad. I, th 
think we might want to go stronger on the side. So give me a sec. I'm gonna go a little bit, a little bit strong here. I do like the greens. But there's there's part of it that I want to really emphasize. See what I mean? Like it's starting to. Well, it's hard to see on the. It's not really reading well on the on the, on the stream. It looks a lot more dynamic for me. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at the stream, going, it just looks flat. Okay. It's gonna come. That's come coming down to the camera not being the best. But let me um. What I can do. Add add a little bit of. lighter sections. I'm going to use a finger that I haven't used yet. <laughs> now that's that's fine and dandy, but the, the pink light probably needs to be reflected on the uh, mask, right? That makes sense. Okay. Just hinting at it. Starting to look a little bit more sculpturally, right? Like it's all right. I like it. I like it. Time wise, we're good. I love it. I love it because it gives us time to play. Back in with the darks as well, which will which will pop a lot of it out. It's a bit stronger than I wanted it to. But what we what are we talking about on the channel? Happy accidents. A lot of paint came out of that part. Give me one sec. A little bit more paint than I wanted. But it happens, right? A little bit, a little bit too much paint. By going over with the with the darks again, we'll, we'll we'll bring it up. I gotta bring the nostrils out a little bit more. I do want to just have a little bit more uh, light. Again, wow, man. Sometimes the, the the paint just wants to come out to play. Let's put let's let's use let's use it to our advantage. We're gonna put it in places where we need more. Right? We got to use the resources we have. <laughs> All right. Um, I think what I want to do is I want... Uh, don't worry about the smudges and smears. They're actually going to come to our advantage. I want to do kind of like old silent film-ish kind of speckles and stuff like that. So it's actually, it's actually not a bad thing. So good.
Yeah, we do have a Discord server. I don't know if if, if he's still here though. <laughs> Appreciate the plug, Julia. So I'm going to have more stuff uh, revealed about the practical utopia project I'm working on. Uh, that'll probably be uh, shown, shown first in the Patreon uh, before I make it public. I'm debating on if I'm gonna do a lot of it on stream. Check the schedule and see if it's, it's, it's a doable thing. All right, let's do. Um, what was it we wanted to do? Nostrils. We made it really, really dark. So. He looks, he looks really creepy, guys. He does look very creepy. deeper part so we're going to make that black Oh, wow. Thanks, Julia. Yeah, I, I, probably the best thing to keep in touch is the Twitter. Twitter is amazing. Um, well, I'll, I'll always link link stuff that we're doing, stuff like that on Twitter. But I'd like to definitely have 
more pe real people than bots. Seems to be a lot of bots in that park. <laughs> All right. It's looking quite ghoulish. a little bit of blue on this side. I think it'd be kind of cool to mirror the pink with the blue. Phantom of the Opera. A little bit of extra black there, it really pops it out. Okay, so, interesting. Let's see. What else? Oh, time. Doing a good time here. Um, let me see if I can work on this nose a bit more. AMG, my goodness. Sorry, AMG. Yeah, it was super pointy, but it's 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 hard to read on 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 the uh, on the photograph, right? Like it just blends all together. So it was it was almost like a, a skeleton. Even too. No. 
Nose Nose. Thing we can do, I think, is add a little bit more of this light here. and scratches for the um for the background as well You excited for Halloween? Should be a, a lot of fun this year. Hopefully.
Nice. Okay. We are going to be uh, giving this drawing away in about uh, 10 minutes. viewer in chat is going to walk away with it they so desire uh there are multiple chances to win um if you're a sub of course on any of the platforms uh you will get an automatic entry uh if you're currently viewing you get an additional entry um and then uh we basically well, i have op options to get more entries and stuff like that with patreon and stuff like that as well to help support the channel and that's pretty much it um basic rules are uh you need to be 18 years or older uh you need to claim the drawing within 36 hours of the uh presented winner and you need to be willing to give a home uh, an address for me to send the drawing to if those three conditions are okay then um you are good to go Uh, the way you claim the drawing is through our Discord. You jump on our Discord, uh, send me a private DM, and uh, we'll get your details and all that. It's all made private. None of that stuff gets public. Uh, nor do I keep records of it. So. Uh, if you're still not comfortable giving your address, I have the option to, uh, if you'd like a high resolution artist proof digital copy sent to your email, can do that as well. All right, the teeth here. Like some of the teeth should be in shadow. It seems like not all the teeth would be super, super white. In fact, I kind of want to add some yellow to the teeth. Now that I think about it. Because I don't think the teeth would be so sparkling white. No way. The one tooth will be brighter than all the rest. like you now I got reflections to do but notice the paper is completely flat too no more curving so I went to 110 pounds for the paper and I think I might do that moving forward um, it allows me to do a little bit more heavier stuff <laughs> Julia's like chomping at the bit oh my gosh uh, not yet, because we're, we're, I still have, I still have six minutes. <laughs> I wanted to put the dust and, sc and scratches on. Um, and you know what else? I, hey, Patricia, how you doing? I want Dustin's and hmm. I think I'm gonna add a reflection to the eyes. Didn't get a notification. 
Uh, for what? What platform are you following me on? Just D Life? I am on YouTube, I am on Twitch uh, and Trovo all at the same time. Uh, failing that, I'm also on the Discord. The Discord is, um, you might want to go into your notifications on Discord and uh, maybe adjust it for that one channel. Because you can just adjust them individually. You go to the bell icon, notifications, and you can get notified. Um, you know, I, only, I only post usually in the Upstar Streams channel when I go live. But because DLive has been changing a lot of things recently, I don't, I would not trust that it's um, going to give you proper notifications. And that's just not, I'm not speaking ill of the platform at all. I just, I just, I, they've been playing a lot with the code. And uh, there's been a lot of changes recently and a lot of things uh, possibly breaking. So I'm just saying, if you want to be sure, there, there are other other ways to. There's also too, uh, like even the the streamers live on the sidebar, you can't rely on that either. Mine's been broken for months. give it away okay guys I know, you, I know you're excited for it but uh, I'm super picky when it comes to you. so how do we do this how do we do dust and scratches um, it's got to read as a film too right so one way we can do that is by taking a ruler I don't want to read as rain, though. That's the only thing. Now, 
what we also need to do is add some hairs. Isn't that always in the in the point in the film? There's always like hairs and stuff like that. Let's see. This makes it a little bit interesting. <laughs> Pretty wild. Uh, he was a caretaker, wasn't he? Um, in the in that this particular film, I I'm not sure. I would actually have to rewatch it. And then the other thing I want to do is add a little bit of blue. How are we doing time wise? Wait, are we am I over? Am I over? Right. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Smooth that out a bit. All right. We we basically did a Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> As one of our our universal monsters pretty happy with uh, how it's how it's kind of come out. I want to put a little bit more wild hair. One second, sorry. I'm not seeing this as reading as the, the hair just yet. Because he's not bald. He's balding. Just need a little bit more uh, craziness. This is something crazy. Crazy hair. All right. Oh, okay, cool. So how this works. Oh, the light reflects on this, hey? I forgot about that. Okay, let's put this under here like that. And that way, see, I want to get that up a bit. See, this is this is a this is always a problem. You gotta you gotta think about your lighting when you're when you're showcasing these things. There we go. We'll do that. <laughs> yes, you guys. Do. Oh, wow. You guys pick up quick. Yep. Yeah, that is that's right. We're it is that time. We are going to do that uh, wheel of equipment. Here we go. Nope. we got this. Elfsar's wheel art battle royale is the thing that we got going up on here. Um, it's the time now that you guys would uh, would basically Put your ones in chat, whatever platform you're watching on, whether it's DLive, YouTube, Twitch, or Trovo. This is that opportunity for you guys to uh, to get in on a free drawing. All right, let me uh, start with this, Stephanie. Uh, we got Patricia as well. Uh, Stephanie, the way the way it works. Oh, is hail is, the new follower is, uh, oh, just for my on Elsa's channel. Um, as a viewer, if you're here on the channel while I'm doing it, you get a you get an entry, a hundred percent. The subscribers are basically paid subscriptions for uh, for uh, Twitch or DLive or Trovo, uh, and then I have other options as if you want to become a Patreon member. 
You'll also get additional entries if you become a patron. Um, Patreon's probably the biggest way that that supports the channel, uh, but it's it's um, it's there's a bunch of tiers there, and it's all description about Patreon. Basically, that's how you get multiple entries. That's why you're seeing some people with multiple entries on it. Yeah. Uh, it only takes one chance, you know, like one name to win. But yes, you do have more opportunities to win um, there as well. Uh, but basically, I just, I, I basically do it one per platform. Of course, if somebody subbed on Twitch and DLive, then of course I would add them, uh, add them for each each sub and stuff like that, because um, it helps support the platform as well as as me. Um, a cut goes towards the platform as well. Patreon is is the way that you can probably support me like where it's mostly coming to me versus sharing the platform but it's important that we need to we need to support our platforms that we're streaming on too because otherwise there's nothing to stream on right <laughs> much love um all right uh anybody else want to jump in uh if not i'm gonna i'm gonna spin the wheel uh, actually first we need to mix up the names uh because i like to i like to um shuffle the deck so i'm gonna shuffle it 12 times i just rolled the dice we're gonna shuffle the deck so what's that what that what that means is that it's gonna randomly displace the names around so here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen i went too far <laughs> i just and i also skipped six um, my brain's not working right now. I need water. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm going to hydrate. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I did 16. Is that all right with you guys? I think, I mean, again, the wheel is random. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to start spinning it. And uh, you know what? We need to put on we need to put on some more exciting music, right? Because this is Halloween music. That's fine and dandy, but let's uh, let's let's put on some let's let's put on some music. Um, let's see. Give me a sec. Put on some more upbeat music, shall we? Some spin the wheel music. All right, are you guys ready? Let's go, it's a battle royale. The last name on the wheel is gonna win the drawing. All right, let's spin it. We got some names to get through here. First one eliminated was, wow, was it last week or the previous week? The pr Two weeks ago is Emma UK won, which is gonna get removed here. Let's keep spinning. Let's get through the wheel because I value everybody's time here. Let's let's keep going. All right, the second name removed is Liza John Paranormal. She's the boss to beat. I think she has the most entries out of everyone here. Next up is Patricia Angel. Patricia Angel, I'm sorry. It was not meant to be. Next up, oh my gosh, a double whammy for Emma UK 23. Big shout out to you guys. Thank again. I, I appreciate the, my Patreon members. Thank you so much. I appreciate my viewers too. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you guys are here. Julian! Oh, it looks like Lynn's again. That, this is this is good for you guys. It means Lynn's. Lens is the biggest threat, so if we whittle, whittle it down, it'll be a fair fight. We'll see. Oh, is it? Is it? It's our newest sub to the channel. Thank you, Suki Speckles, for subbing to us on DLive. I appreciate you. Much love. All right, here we go. Let's, let's keep spinning. Next up is... Oh! It was 
Stephanie Thompson, who won the, I believe it was the uh, Dracula. Dra the Dracula is on its way to you right now. But uh, unfortunately, it wasn't not meant to be here. For the Phantom of the Opera. Oh, is that fat-headed noob? It's fat-headed noob. Fat-headed noob has the worst luck ever, man. He he's he has not won a drawing yet. <laughs> but much love, fat-headed noob. We're gonna keep spinning that wheel. It is. It looks like Elizabeth, 1975, getting eliminated here. Oh, oh, is it a double? It's a double header. Elizabeth Flood. And it looks like it's going to be either Comtech or MD Wit. It is Comtech. Thank you, Comtech. Keep spinning. Oh, no. Is it another double header? Or is it Lynn's? It is Lens. You guys are lucky. Oh gosh. Okay. We we'll remove Lens. <laughs> we do. Oh my gosh. It didn't matter because Comtech got hit anyways. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's keep let's keep, keep it spinning. It was almost Lens again. Oh nope. It looks like it is Emma UK twenty three. Ah, uh, it is GamerCam. Uh, guys, we're going to be starting a new uh, game. We, we ended up finishing uh, Far Cry 6 uh, a couple Fridays ago. We're going to be starting a brand new game together. Uh, that's going to come November 11th, I believe. Oh, it does look like Lindsay and John Paranormal is getting removed. She still has an... I don't know how many entries. I can't see because it's all mixed up. <laughs> oh, Eric Walker, welcome back. We got MD Wit 60, my uh, my sea wife and sea of thieves. We're going to be doing a special stream on the 28th, which is this Friday of sea of thieves. There's going to be some special Halloween stuff going on that day. Uh, you never know where our adventure is going to take us. It is a fun stream. It is a mature stream. There will be drinking and there will be a lot of flirt flirting going on and a lot of uh, a lot of fun stuff. Monster J! Speaking of fun stuff and flirting and drinking, Monster J! <laughs> Shout out to Monster J. Much love, Monster J. <laughs> uh, norm normally she likes she likes the green the green stuff. The legalized green stuff in Canada. <laughs> Mischievous Matt, big shout out to him as well. Let's keep keep it going. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Walk Eric Walker. I'm I'm sorry your internet cut out. That sucks. Ah, oh, Lindsay John Paranormal gets removed. Oh, is All it hail Mystic Angel new Christina. follower on Elsa's channel. Oh my gosh, it's bunnies here. Much love. <laughs> much love for the follow. Thank you so much. Uh, will Sar be there too? Uh, on. What the Sea of Thieves stream? No, Sar doesn't play Sea of Thieves. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna we'll we'll do a Superstar Sunday um, coming up soon. It's just a bit a bit a very bu busy month for her. All right, guys, we are down to seventeen names. There's only gonna be one winner. We have sixteen names to eliminate. It looks like Comtech. Ooh. Is that is that is that the final one for Com that is the final one for Comtech? Uh, Comtech, speaking of Comtech, he'll be there on Sea of Thieves. Um, I do get I do game with Emma, MD, Wit, and Comtech on the Sea of Thieves streams. Uh, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun fun time regardless. I hope you'll join us. 
and that will be Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific time, I believe. We've got Slider 1611. Slider 1611 just became a legend today, right at the very beginning of the stream too. Much love, Slider. All right, let's keep spinning that wheel. We got, we got names to get to. Oh, is it Elizabeth or is it MD Wit? It is Elizabeth. Okay, we're on, we're 14, 14 names. Let's find out who the Baker's Dozen is. All hail the new follower hey, the gamer life. on Elsa's channel. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Ooh, we got another, another tick from Lindsay and John Paranormal. Okay, we're on the Baker's Dozen right now. We're gonna, we're, we're, we're counting it down here from here. Uh, it looks like, let's see. Mystic Angel right now is in the lead. She has three, three entries. It looks like. Uh, Lindsay John Paranormal was the biggest threat. She's now down to one. Uh, anybody else have an advantage? Let me look. MD Wit also has two entries, it looks like. Okay. Let's count it down now. Who's going to be walking away with a free piece of one-of-a-kind original pieces of art? Oh, is it sp Oh, wow. The boss. Lynn's the boss got eliminated. It was just... It was on the edge between her and Mystic. Mystic has got a... Extreme advantage with three entries. And it looks like Empty Wit also has two entries. Everybody else has one. All right. Let's spin it, shall we? Oh, Mystic Angel had the most entries, which also means it was the most chance for her, to her name to get hit. It just got hit. She now only has two tied with Empty Wit and the rest all have one entry. Counting down, the final 10. Oh, is that Renzo? It is Renzo Scriber. Renzo Scriber. She's, she's been determined to get a dragon. <laughs> she wants a dragon. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, let's keep spinning. Nine more names. Oh, it ended up being Honey Girl. Honey girl, much love. But this this beeswax is not for you. Let's 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 keep let's keep it spinning. Oh, is it gonna be MD Wit? MD Wit's name is eliminated. Alright, she's she's now equal with everyone. Alright, the only one that's got the advantage right now is Mystic Angel. Oh, it, it's, you know what? It's, it's, it's fate. It's destiny. It is a fair fight all around. All right. We've got Pablo Escanaba. Emma UK 23. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm noticing that there's two from Emma. So there's Pablo Escanaba, Emma UK 23, MD Wit, Emma UK 23 again, Elizabeth Flood, Mystic Angel Christina, and Karaoke Ken. Best of luck to you guys. And the sixth name that is eliminated is Elizabeth Flood. It was not meant to be Elizabeth. That's okay. It's let's keep spitting. The next name. Oh, it looks like Emma UK 23, who had the advantage, is now. There are five names on the wheel. Pablo Escanaba, Emmy UK23, MD Wit, Mystic Angel Christina, and Kira Ken. All right. Five names. One winner. Let's keep let's keep eliminating. The, the wheel spins round and round. Ah, oh, Mystic Angel. It, the tide has turned. It is not going to be you. We have four names left. Pablo Escanaba, Emmy UK23, MD Wit, and Karaoke Ken. You gotta spin it to win it. 
it is not going to be Emma UK23. Big shout out to her. All right, we've got three names on the wheel. We got Pablo Escanaba, MD Witt, and Karaoke Ken. Let's spin it. Oh my goodness. MD Witt. MD Witt was eliminated. We've got Karaoke Ken and Pablo Escanaba. All right, let's spin it, shall we? Oh! Incredible. Kerry Kim was eliminated. We have a winner, folks. It is Pablo Escanaba. Big time love Pablo Escanaba. See, it, he wasn't here currently in the chat, but he was a sub to the channel, so we ended up getting a win. Every art stream that we do a giveaway, it's uh, it's always a chance to win. Big congrats to Pablo Escanaba. We will let him know in the Discord that he has won. Woo! Yeah, Pablo won. He hasn't won in a long time, guys. Um, perfect. Right on. I think he'll enjoy that. I mean, that's that's kind of what Dale looks like, right? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But you know what? I'm very happy with the turnout of the paper. Um, there is literally no curve. Like the, the paper's not curling up at all or something like that. It's, so doubling up on the weight definitely definitely can withstand the pain. Um, so that's, that's neat. We are, uh, we're gonna do another drawing though here, guys. It will be, uh, it will be our final drawing for the Halloween art streams. Ooh. So what, what's gonna be, what's gonna be our final creature? <laughs> what's our final universal monster? Hmm. Yeah, big congrats to Dale. All right. Comtech, good to see you, buddy. How are you? Welcome. Okay, we're gonna draw another drawing here. Let's catch up on the, on the time. I've been dilly-dallying. I need to get back to drawing. Let's go. All right. It's got marks on that side of the paper. I don't want that. Um, I made a mess. Hold on a second. Let me, let me, uh, first things first. What happened? Oh, there it is. I need to sharpen my pencil. Woo! It just seems like this guy's really happy. <laughs> He's like, ah! Or he, or he stepped on something. He stepped on a piece of Lego is what he did. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. But first things first, I need reference. Pull up some reference. Um, Let's, let's start drawing. You're watching MASH? My goodness. Okay, we need to go back to our, our Halloween music. As much as I love it, we do, need, we, need, we do need Halloween music for our Halloween drawing. Let's stay in theme, right?
top part where we basically have to plot out where everything's going. Someone just subscribed to your channel. How are you going to react? How? Comtech! How? Celebrating a 14 month sub streak. My goodness, Comtech! Much love. Thank you for that. Can you believe it's been it's been 14 months? My goodness! That is a level up, for sure. Uh, started playing Sea of Thieves together. That, 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 that. That'll be a trip. To kind of, kind of think about how, how long it's been we've been doing multiple episodes. I guess I can look at my YouTube channel and see the, the last... When, when was the first Sea of Thieves stream that we, we sailed together? Five months, yeah, that's a few years. Interesting, interesting uh, look we've got here going on. Okay. Anybody want to hazard a guess? <laughs> Uh, 
uh, yeah, Elizabeth got it. That's for sure. We're doing the Bride of Frankenstein. light happening on this particular thing. I've got to really figure out what, how I'm going to display this. Um, so of course up the chin. Not like that. Just working out where the light patterns are going. And then I kind of comes down like that. So it actually comes down this up. And then the nose itself. Very tricky angle. Why do I always challenge myself? <laughs> it's not like it's just a straight on thing. I know I gotta make it difficult. Okay. We like it hard. <laughs> we like our games hard. We like our uh, our drawings to be challenging and hard. I can think of a few other things, but. <laughs> sketched everything out looking looking interesting okay so what we need to do now what's the how do we how do we approach this drawing we need to think about where the highlights and where the darks are going to be which usually gives us a good plan to start with um and we're going to build this up a lot like we have previously So we're going to use a white and we're just going to get in there. I think we're going to get in there. Where our highlights are going to be. At the same time, we do need to lay down kind of, okay, let's see. over here yeah so we started we started this adventure with the Universal Monsters um, on the first week of October and we started with Frankenstein's Monster. And I figured what better way to, to end it than having the Bride of Frankenstein at the very end. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's appropriate.
Now, that's not, not to say that that's the end of the art streams. The art streams are going to continue. We're just going to move on to another subject. We may return back to our monster manuals. Now I'm just kind of choosing where the, uh, the biggest light sources are going to be. Powers in public. I'm just taking my time with this just so I want the, uh, it to be a little bit smooth sources is coming from. All right. And then the nose. How are we doing this? There. The nose highlights here as well. It's going to be a hard one. fireworks already it's like a that means there's gonna be a lot during Halloween probably
Okay. So far, so good. hair. What really identifies her is the bride, right? Is this uh, white streak. See the underlit of the hair? And then see the hair lit here too. Cool. All right. Exercise of seeing what we could do shading.
there. Perfect. And then this is going to be a much brighter as well. Uh, just a reminder to all those uh, that there was a big batch of drawings that just went out, um, just got mailed. So depending on where you live, uh, you should be expecting it within either at the end of this week or uh, quite possibly next week. You should be just arriving for international um, drawings. It, uh, it may take a little bit longer to get there. But note that I was waiting for the back order for the envelopes. That was what was taking up uh, most of the time because I did get some replacement envelopes and I was not satisfied with the quality. Um, I don't want to run the risk of any artwork getting ever damaged. Um, and these envelopes weren't going to protect it enough. Somebody could possibly fold them or, or bend them, and I didn't really want to run that risk because it's not like something, something I can easily replace, right? So um, I did apologize in the uh, in the Discord and stuff like that that it was taking longer than usual to send out the drawings, uh, but we did end up getting them out, and I did get uh, I did order a bunch um, so that we don't have to suffer through that again of having them on back order. It really sucked. I tried to go into the post office to just pick them up physically and every every place was sold out and i was i was i was bewildered i was like what's going on but i'd rather get there safe than than uh, disaster happen <laughs> We're gonna be basically pushing and, and, and pulling some of these uh, these shades back and forth. drawing, I'll say, that much. Okay. Some nostrils here. Gotta figure out this angle of the nose. Some, uh, some darks. Pull that out where we need to. But yeah, right now we're just getting a, a smooth surface that we can work on. At the same time, trying to think about the, the contours of the, uh, the surface it's on. I'm scratching. I don't want to scratch the paper. We just, uh, bit more
Okay. We've got some very sharp angles here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start, I think we're going to start with the eyes. Is that generally, we want to nail that first, right? Tends to be the most important. Also got teeth here I got to do too. Let's find out where this this eyebrow is first. Now the eyebrow is painted on. I'm gonna do the same thing. Also some, I believe it's got some underlying mascara as well. And then I'm sure the eye's got some big ass lashes. Elsa, someone just subscribed to your channel. Oh. How are you going to react? Hey, how? Celebrating. how? Hey, Slater, how you doing? Much love, Slater. Lips, sink ships, is that it? Luscious lips, what we're trying to go for, I guess. I mean, she wears black, black lipstick, I think. I don't know, it's a black and white photograph, so <laughs> it can't exactly add color to it. 
Although we are going to add color to this drawing. For sure. We're just trying to get the, um, the gist of where everything's going in terms of lights and darks. And then we'll, we'll add some color to it. For sure. So, the question is, how dark do we go first? Let's go a bit shy. So let's, how dark does this, does this make it? It makes it somewhat dark. So, try move this out a bit. We're going to go a little bit darker here. Oh, nice, Eric. Welcome back. So it's a very interesting underlit area here.
What are you trying to post? Are you trying to post a picture? We do have a, a spot for, for photos. If you uh, go to the digital photography, there's, um, there's a spot for photographs. I think it's just general, general photos. But I mean, even if you put it in general chat, it's not a big deal. Cool, are you gonna test it out? Yeah, it's a smart thing to do. Test it out, right? Before uh that way you can make any adjustments if you need to. looking pretty creepy guys she's looking pretty creepy uh, but we need to put on we need to use some color as well um, I'm thinking yeah I, uh, yeah hundred percent Eric that'd be great to see So I've decided I'm going to go purple. Okay. Purple-ish. this it seems to be very light <laughs> maybe I went too light it's too su subtle you guys need dynamics you guys want more you demand dynamics I will uh, I will try to oblige give me a sec while I figure out can add a little bit more maybe blue to it. If you want to paint on something like that, I highly recommend doing a, a higher weight paper.
Okay, it's really hard for you guys to see. I mean, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna move it over here so you guys can see a little bit better. a little bit more color dynamics but it's not really showing up on stream and it's driving me crazy um unless i go super bold and try and add thing is we need to get make sure that, that I moving the way we want it. I might have to highlight it at the very at the very end. I want that eye sparkling. This has got to be the most readable thing. Um Oh yeah, has it been an official announcement? Did you hear that Elon wants to have a long form streaming um, aspect to Twitter? Uh, it already exists now. Like if I wanted to go live on Twitter, I can, but he's going to add monetization to it. Or that's, uh, that's what he was talking about. That seems pretty interesting. Let me see. Is the oh my gosh my desk is a mess I can't find what I'm looking for ugh I can never find what I'm looking for goodness gracious me <laughs> okay
Uh, is there any mods on YouTube right now? I don't think there are. That's okay. Oh, never mind. Em Emma's got it. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Do a highlight there. number all hail the new follower oh. on Elsa's channel Wolf the spirit welcome to the channel thank you for becoming an important member here on the, of the party we call you an adventure because you just took that adventure and took that next step and followed the channel. Uh, thank you for rolling the dice, taking a chance on me. Much love and welcome to the stream. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we do gaming streams as well as art streams. And right now we're doing uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> As I'm figuring out how I, how, what, where the light source should be. What this? I need more. Yeah, like more light on the forehead, right? XP, XP. Nostril there. All right. Let's 
Wolf, Wolf Spirit, do you, do you stream on the DLI platform? Are you, are you new to DLI? Is, I guess by what I'm asking. <laughs> If so, welcome, of course. Of course, if you're a regular here as well, welcome as well. Oh yeah, it is, it definitely is, Eric. Plus, you know, you get to kind of see something form before your eyes and it's um, kind of neat to see it sometimes. How it can get approached. And what I'm doing right now is I'm adding another highlight. I went over it with pink and I wasn't happy with the, I, I found it, it made it too dark. That's what I think. So I'm going back over it. I think it looks better. Tip the nose. Yeah, no, unfortunately, there isn't a way to override uh, the restream bot. I don't believe so. Yeah, there's no way There's no way to delete that, unfortunately. I'm, I'm sorry. Time me out. Actually, mods can't time your other mods out. <laughs> so you're, you're, you have the freedom to do anything you want. Got some stitches basically holding her skin together.
kind of neat. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like I kind of like the look of that. All right. Underlit. Underlit. I have this part kind of in blue. We do one look and it's with a stripe. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. I kind of want the darkness. We really want to emphasize this stripe, right? So I think what we can do, we can have some of the white. Looks like a dragon breathed on her. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, Spirit, if you want to see what we've done on the uh, on the channel, I have, a, I have a Discord that has a full art gallery there of everything we've done on the channel. Do you believe it or not? We've we've drawn close. Well, we're in like the 140th something drawing now that we've done on the channel. And we've got a full art gallery there. If you want to, if you want to. Uh, Come join us. You're more than welcome to join us there. All right. Uh, the link is in my about section too. I've got the full link there for uh, our Discord. Not everybody uses Discord, so uh, failing that. If you follow my Twitter, my Twitter will always post what we've done on the stream. Right. We went very blue. Oh my gosh. Okay. Interesting. Now let's see what hap what happens when we take a dark and go over the blue. Will it, will it minimize it a bit? Barely. This, this one's got a lot less su subtle subtle colors so it's it's not as okay now that I say that I'm gonna f it up <laughs> I always do this I always do this I always tend to like I don't I'm going with this like pinks and blues today I don't know I'm on a pink and blue fix 
It's, it's quite a nice pose, I, I gotta admit. I think it's what drew me to want to do it. Here we go. I'm just asking for it. Why would I go with more pink? More pink! Why not? is like the, the pink is it too bright I'm also just figuring it out too. This is this is the particular scene where she like screams. She turns her head and screams. So this is just before the scream. I'm curious what part of the film. can do is I don't want to use pink with that. Maybe I'll use the white. Just have again a little bit more of the stitches. of a white gown so I think we're gonna add we're gonna add some white to this so let me let me uh this is maybe not the right pen to do it with let me blend that out um okay do I have a pen that's a bleeder is this a bleeder I call them bleeders and they put out way too much 
Yeah, that's a bleeder. That's definitely a bleeder. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a bleeder. It's bleeding everywhere. get this nice beautiful gown now right like it's this the effect is what we want it's just been flowing and it's just paint strokes it's just paint strokes And yeah, accidents happen and they're, they're, you know, we're happy for them, right? <laughs> Thinking that I'm looking at it now and it's kind of like, I almost feel like there needs to be light passing through compositionally. We got the zigzag going, but there should be Similar light happening up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually put the light source in the background. Maybe not as bright. Is bright and then I make it brighter. Oh yeah, that's the thing. I was like, there needs to be the lightning, right? like what's missing from this drawing you know we started it with with lightning there should be some lightning in the background um
that was what was missing, right? It, electricity brings life, and that's that's what that's what she's about. She's alive, alive. <laughs> I had to say it. Then we're gonna we're gonna emphasize some light here. Now it makes it sense why she's so lit up. I still, it still floors me that I, um, I started doing, doing this, um, drawing on stream when I hit an, my affiliate, when I did an affiliate party, uh, on D-Live, uh, which was an alternative, uh, streaming platform. Um, I really, you know, I mean, it was, a. Uh, Streaming was a very new experience for me. It still is, you know, in a lot of ways. Um, but I had never drawn on stream before. And it's like, it's... You guys were so amazing and appreciative. And you actually really enjoyed me doing this. And that's what's kind of kept me motivated to keep going and, and, and do it. It's been a... Uh, really neat experience uh, it's changed how I draw and, you know, in some respects uh, and some of the earlier drawings you can even see like I was super timid I just didn't I didn't I wasn't uh, I wasn't confident enough I think in my my abilities so uh, there's for me you guys helped me grow and I want to thank you for that and it's been a really neat experience. All right, so far, so good. Before we go into with got my pencil here let's sharpen it up again we're gonna go back into our darks and kind of see if we could there's, there's wiggle room to play play there a bit i also want to hit that stripe again to really emphasize the fact that it's white uh, but i think there's room here it just disintegrating my everything there's room here to do a little bit more drawing so to speak
subtleties I think that we can add here that will in the end make a lot of difference. But I think it's, a, it's actually a really fun exercise to, uh, to take, a, take a reference that is pretty blurry without much definition to it and try to imagine what it is and try to see, let's see what you can come up with. Let's... And if you like anything that oh, I just broke my pencil. If you like anything you see, of course, I'm always open for doing commissions and whatnot. Um, I try to keep my prices, of course, as low as possible. Some examples, these are kind of examples of stuff that I do. I mean, this is these are all considered sketches, um, and they uh, they pretty much oh, and it's still broken. I can maybe I can maybe salvage this, um, but if you've got something. You know, an idea or something that you, you've been wanting to get, or even a, as a gift and stuff like that. There is a really, really awesome uh, personal gift that you can give someone by giving them a hand drawn piece of art. Uh, and as you can see, I, I try to work with this. So, um, just anything that you ever, uh, ever have your heart set on. Or even if you like something that you saw on, on one of the streams, I can always uh, do, oh, just broke. I got it. I swear, by the end of like, in two months, this is going to be gone. <laughs> I keep breaking it. But also, too, if you just want to kick back and watch uh, the stuff happen, too, on stream, by all means, you're, of course, welcome. And I value your viewership. Thank you so much. on theme of the of, of the of the channel it's pinpoint the adventure it's been you know it's a learning process and i make mistakes um i'm human uh, everybody makes mistakes like it's it's you know, whether it's on a on a drawing or, or or whatnot you know there's still there's still lots of room to learn <laughs> i've uh, really enjoyed my learning experience so far so Hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed yourself as well, because honestly, you guys have been uh, a ride for the uh, long for the adventure, and, and as well as uh, you guys are kind of the reason why I'm, you know, growth happens in multiple formats. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say I really appreciate you guys. <laughs> as I stumble through my words, as I try to draw. I don't. I like the blacks, the dark spaces, so I don't want to ruin that. Said, at the same time, her hair is really frizzy. So I'm kind of like wanting to incorporate that. Oh, welcome back, Elizabeth. Okay, 
We're gonna emphasize some of the the, the white part of the hair. Because it is supposed to read as a white streak, right? I mean it does read as a white streak, right? Like it's it's definitely a white streak. deadness, right? Just a touch. I like making up words. <laughs> okay. Does that read too sharp? It's too sharp for me. Um, I think I need to just, just a bit. Uh, let's see. it out first. Yeah. Definitely going to read as a very, very big black, so. Just a little bit darker than that. for a very specific purpose and I forgot what it was the island.
help, I think. Great guys, what do we do? How we do? I didn't even. You know what? I haven't looked at the time. Oh, we're pretty good, actually. Huh? We got we we finished development to be down to a sweet science. We we're able to get these drawings done. Super excited, guys. I've got a Chipotle waiting for me. I have it on slow cook. <laughs> I've been uh, cooking for 10 hours on low. Um, and I made it extra spicy today. <laughs> extra spicy. Sarah might be furious with me, but she can handle her spice, I think. It's interesting, I'm, I'm using a black that's making it darker than the page. So it's gonna be harder for people to tell that it's it was not uh, drawn on black paper, or that it was drawn on black paper to begin with. I think that's kind of a cool benefit, I think. This one will be available in the uh, in the Discord. I'll try to take a snapshot of it and stuff like that and get it up ASAP. Uh, again, all sales go towards helping buying these things, art supplies. <laughs> so, um, and I try to keep it as cheap as possible. So, but this one uh, was a nice nice ender, I think, to the Halloween stream. Or the Halloween month, I guess, of art streams, Universal Monsters. It's my little nod to them. Um, it's been an enjoyable, enjoyable time. We did give one away though. Uh, early, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Let's look at these two together. Take, take a look at, at, at these two. Um, I wonder, like, gosh, maybe this way? Should it be facing each other? I don't know. I don't know what's, what's the best way to work. I guess the order that they were drawn in, probably. Kind of a cool, cool thing. Uh, this has been a, a month of 
doing an, doing art streams for uh, for October. Universal Monsters. We did four weeks of it. And uh, oh, Stephanie's hopeful. Stephanie's hopeful that we're giving it away as well. Stephanie, no, unfortunately, t this week we are doing. We did one to give away and one to support the stream. So this one is going to be sold on my uh, on my Discord. Um, but I, I appreciate you you putting the one in chat. <laughs> I wish I could give all of them away. I wish I could give them all away, but uh, unfortunately, I do need to support the stream, and that that's the best way I I can come up with to do it. So. Anyways, guys, uh, oh, I need to do a, a clip. Uh, let me do a little quick, quick clip, because if, oh man, I always forget to clip on Twitch, too. I don't know, what's, what's the best way to let me, uh, I guess they work with the Give it away as well. Stephanie, no, unfortunately, t this week we are doing, we did one to give away and one to support the stream. So this one is going to be sold on my uh, on my Discord. Okay. Um, but I, I appreciate you playing the chat. <laughs> okay. Do we'll it we'll like that, and it should be good. Facing each other. All right. So this was what was the title of the stream? Oh my gosh, Elf. Ugh. We'll do that, and I'll just cop, call it that, and we'll make that a make that a clippy clip. Much love. Thank you guys so much. Um, again, I want to shout out my patrons. They're all listed here at the top. Um, at the end of every video, I'm gonna shout them out as well. You guys keep the stream running, and I I, I love you guys for it. it. Allows me to do this, and uh, you guys are the best. Let me uh, let me publish this clip in the D Live. Facing each other. Cool. All right. Done, done, and done. Uh, guys, um, I hope you'll join me. I do. I, I am going to be streaming this Friday uh, for a Sea of Thieves stream at 8 p.m. PST. You're welcome to join me for that. I'm going to be joined by MD Wit, Comtech, and Emma UK23. Uh, we're going to have a fun time. It's going to be Halloween ish kind of thing. And then uh, I will be streaming again on Monday on Halloween. Um, I don't have a time yet for that, uh, but I may, it, I may be here or something else might be taking my place. We'll see. <laughs> I hope you'll join. For, and I have no idea what we're doing. If you really want to find out badly, I will announce it probably on Twitter or in the Discord. So you, you know where to find me. <laughs> much love guys. Thank you guys again so, so much. Um, it's always a pleasure to do these streams and uh, I want to keep keep this going as, as long as possible. All right, guys. Um, like we say on the channel, may all your hits be criticals, your adventures be legendary, and uh, let's keep... Um, I'll see you guys on the next one, hopefully. All right. Take care, everybody. <laughs>